It's Angel. Welcome back to my channel. Um, before I get started, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, hit the subscribe and the bell to be notified, and share my video, you guys. So how's everybody doing? Tonight I'm just having some nachos. Y'all, if you saw my previous video, you know that I posted that I failed because I was supposed to start my cleanse and I didn't. So anyways, that's neither here nor there. But I just wanted some basic nachos. I have sour cream in the fridge, but I was like, mm, I don't really feel like the sour cream. So I just got ground beef, nacho cheese, shredded um, taco cheese, and salsa and guacamole. And so, and just so you know, I do say my prayers before I eat, but I, I am more comfortable praying off camera. So I did say my prayers off camera, so. Let's get to eating. Mm. Mm -hmm. A little bit. Yum, yum. That's good, you guys. <clears throat> and my stomach is making sounds, and I'm not sure why. It's Probably because when I'm eating my stomach, like, uh-uh, they see it coming. And I have some um, sparkling water. I would rather eat my calories than drink it. So, um, how's everybody's Thursday going? I had a pretty good Thursday. Work was a little irritating for me today, but whatever. My boss actually gave me something really nice today. I appreciate that so much. Nice little gift cards. It was nice. It was a nice gesture. I, I appreciate things. When people do nice things for me, I always appreciate it, no matter how big or how small. I'm always grateful. I'm also grateful to the people who subscribe to my channel. I'm going to um, try to get better about remembering to link my info for my other social media pages. I actually don't really do much on my other social media pages, but I'll link them anyways just in case anybody's wondering who I am and what I'm about. Um... The chips that I'm using for my nachos are the um, on the border cantina style. I love on the border chips. I either get these or I get the um, thin and crispy, but I actually like these better. Mm. I usually warm my chips. I warm them a little bit before I add all the stuff to them. And it's cold in here. I'm looking up because I'm trying to see if that vent is open. Because I'm cold. Well, you guys, we've made it to the weekend. I mean, I know some people have to work tomorrow. I know I do. But we made it. Anybody got anything planned for Friday night tomorrow? I don't have anything planned. I'll probably be making egg rolls. I may do a video because my niece is having her baby shower Saturday. And so she wanted me to make egg rolls. So I may do a video of the egg rolls. Yeah, it's been some crazy, crazy stuff happening all over, everywhere. I mean, and my coworkers are actually talking today about, I don't know if you guys have heard this story. I don't really know if it was on like 
other news channels or if it was just local here in Vegas. But um, I think it was last Saturday, a lady um, went to the nail shop and she got to use a credit card. And the credit card, excuse me, credit card got declined. And she went out, she said, she told the nail tech she was going out to her car to um get money. Well, yeah, she jumped in her car and left, tried to leave. Well, she left, but, you know, she ran over the nail tech in front of her husband. This lady had three daughters, a husband, a business, and this lady killed her. She ran her over. People who saw it said that she literally dragged this lady like 50 feet. It was such a sad story and it broke my heart because it's like, if you know you don't have the money to pay for something, First of all, she knew she didn't have the money to pay. And she thought she was going to be able to just go in and get away. That's somebody's livelihood. And while a lot of people have said that the nail tech should have just let her go. It's easier said than done when you're not in that situation. That's that lady's livelihood. And that's how she helps her family. So why would you try and steal from her? And now you've killed her. You've taken her away from her husband and her children and her whole family and all her friends that love her. And the girls on the run, they um they posted her mugshot and everything. They found her. They well, they didn't find her. They they found out who she is. And she's had prior trouble, so they had a mugshot from a previous booking. And so it's circulating on social media. I can't remember her name, but I shared it on my Facebook. And I'm going to link my Facebook below so that you guys can see her. I hope they catch her because here's the thing. You killed somebody over $35. If you really didn't have the money, but you was going to be bold enough anyways, and you thought that you couldn't get away, why didn't you just call somebody and ask them to loan you $35 and bring it to the nail shop? But no, she was slimy. She was a slimy person, and she just, she fell. Mm -hmm. Mama, my mom is soggy. I'm mm -hmm. sorry. I'm sorry, I'm still going to eat it. The shoe took this lady's life over $35, y'all. And it just makes me sad because as a person who has lost their mother, and I don't have a mother or a father, both of my parents are deceased. And I'm not trying to make anybody sad or make anybody feel any kind of way. I'm just, I'm just talking about this because it bothered me. And every time I see the story, it just really gets under my skin because what kind of person are you? Like, really? But it's just messed up. And we were talking about that. But anyways, um, on a lighter note, tomorrow's Friday. Tomorrow's Friday. Saturday is going to be a pretty good day because I get to go to a baby shower. I love baby showers and I love new babies. Newborns are just so adorable. I can't wait to meet her. She's due in February and it's a little girl, so I can't wait. I have a lot of nieces and nephews, y'all. Because I'm actually one of six kids. 
I'm the baby of the family. And I have four. Look, <laughs> trying to count. I have nine nieces and nephews. And then I have, it's like six or seven great nieces and nephews. I, I lose count. I'm not a grandmother yet. Thank God. My oldest son is 23 and he don't have any kids. And I don't want him to have none either until he's married and he's ready. I'm not out there making nobody a baby mama. And I ain't knocking anybody that was a single mother because I was. So I'm not knocking it at all. Mm -hmm. I don't want my sons to do that to any women. If you can't make her a wife, don't make her a mother. And that's just how I feel. Everybody can feel how they want to feel, but that's how I feel. Don't make her a wife if you can't. Don't make her a mother if you can't make her a wife. Leave somebody struggling and trying to figure out how to raise kids on their own. Don't do that. Because I've been there and it sucks. But yeah, my baby's coming in our family. We got a lot of babies. A lot of little kids. I love little kids. They so funny. And the little kids in our family tend to be some real characters. <laughs> and my niece is having a baby. She's super sweet. And she's so hyper. When she was little, this girl had so much energy. And she still got it. She's 26. And... She's still real energetic. Mm. Now, I need some more chips. I'll be right back. Okay. I'm back. Just got some more chips to scoop up the rest of my toppings. Waste not, won't not. So... What do you guys like to watch on TV? Do you guys watch TV? What do you guys like to watch? I I like to watch talk shows. Like, I love Dr. Oz, and I like watching The Real. And I watch Steve Harvey, if I remember to DVR him. Of course, I have to DVR everything because I'm at work, but I like working from home sometimes. And I, I'm thankful that I can. Because then I can watch some of my shows during the day while I work. But lately, I don't been want to watch movies. Like, but I have kind of a short attention span when it comes to movies. So, yeah. I'm going to link my email, and I want my subscribers to do me a favor. Watch my videos, if you have time, and tell me what I can do better. Keep in mind that I am using my phone to film, to create my content, because I don't have a camera just yet. It's in the works, and I'm going to get that. But, like, tell me what you guys want to see me do. And, then I, and I'm not going to do anything crazy, so I'm, I'm just, you know, I'm just putting that out there. Because I can't do things to hurt, that could potentially hurt me. But, um... I was like, tell me what you guys would like to see. Do you want to see my family? 
Do you want to see me do my makeup? Do you want to see my city? Like, tell me what you want to see. Because I was born and raised in Vegas. And to be honest with you guys, I don't go to the strip, which is what a lot of people think Vegas is about. I hate the strip. The strip. I hate it. I don't like downtown either. And for one thing, the parking is a nightmare. If you've ever been to Vegas, you know the parking ain't right. And the parking is it's a nightmare now. And now you got to pay to park. Some places honor locals and don't make us pay to park, but most of the time we have to pay to park too. And I just think that sucks. Especially if I'm just, oh, I'm sorry, y'all. That's why you shouldn't talk so much when you eat. But I think if you're just going to a rest to a casino for dinner, and you gotta pay ten dollars to park. What? Also keeps me off the strip. And when family, my family members come in town. Or friends and they say oh I'm gonna be there <laughs> oh, that's great <laughs> where are you staying because if you stand on the strip ugh, I probably won't come see you um I be wanting to but I just hate the strip I just don't like it and then it's crowded on the weekends and that's that would be the only time I really go down there now when I'm doing postmates if I'm out doing postmates I go out there from time to time. It's a nightmare. Some of the casinos will let us park in valet just to run in and get the food or deliver the food. But most of them give us a hard time. So I don't know. Do any of you do Postmates? If you live in Vegas, tell me how your experience has been with Postmates. I'm in the Vegas Strip. And downtown, because downtown is a mess, too, for parking. It ain't great, either. But, yeah. So, yes, y'all. I just wanted to stop in, say hey. Eat dinner, y'all. I don't know, it's late here, so we're going to later where you guys are. But, again, give my video a thumbs up. Comment, subscribe, share. Email me, though, and let me know what you guys think. Honest opinion. I won't get mad. Um, but if your comment is just negative and ignorant, I'm not even going to bother responding. So that's I'm just being real. I won't respond to negative, to negative, stupid stuff. But if it's constructive, I'll appreciate it. Um, you guys, have a good night. I enjoy your weekend, and I will talk to y'all later. Bye.